Alex, today we're going to be talking about the horn broaching system. To start with, why was this developed and brought to market? The, um, the horn broaching system was first developed to cover a gap in the market um, where our customers typically were having to um, do expensive second ops um, for things like internal gear forms, hexagons, etc. Um, and this was quite often taking place on separate machinery. Um, what are the key benefits? Obviously, you've mentioned a couple there. Yeah, expanding on that, the key benefits really are um, giving complete control to um, our customers, uh, enabling them to uh, control the process and get complete finished components off in one process of one machine. Yeah, it's key now, isn't it? People don't want work in progress. They want to put a bar in and end up with a finished component. No, you're quite right. Um, I mean, in engineering, time is money. And uh, if you're uh, manufacturing a component, you've then got to take the blanks off or, or the first stops workpiece off, set it up on another machine. It's all, it's all idle time or, or wasted time. So um, the fewer operations we can get components completed in, the better for our customers. Mm -hmm. You've got some of the products here, Alex, but how vast is the range? Um, yeah, as Horn, we are expanding the range um, continuously. Um, our standard range now um, comes in three basic variations. Um, if we start with the N105 system, um, this is the smallest of the standard range, um, and it enters bores from around six millimeters. Um, as standard, we offer keyway broaching solutions, hexagon broaching for a number of sizes, as well as Torx and Torx Plus forms. If we move on to the N110 system, which is essentially a bigger adaptation of the N105, as you can see for longer, longer reaches. Um, again, in this we offer um, a number of keyway sizes, hex broaching, and again Torx and Torx Plus. Moving on again now to the larger system, which is the S117 broaching system. Now we're getting here into um, deeper bores, longer forms, um, etc. Again, we offer similar styles as a standard for a number of different um, tolerance class keyways, as well as some hexagon broaching systems. And you've mentioned the standard tools, but are they, can you adapt any of these you know, bespoke tools? Yep. Um, any system you see here before you, uh, from the M105s, M110s, or S117s, we can adapt all of these to customer-specific special requirements, um, whether that is an internal gear form, um, a certain um, particular serration, um, a square, square drive, anything like that. If, um, yeah, if a customer has an inquiry of an internal or external form, um, we can look at it and adapt the tool to suit their specific requirements. Um, this even moves into, as well as the inserts and forms, um, tool holders. So it might be a certain particular bore entry or a, a length of form. Um, we can uh, adapt that also to meet, meet customer requirements. So whilst we're talking about specials, where are they produced? Looking at the systems in front of us, um, a lot of the specials are produced here in Ringwood, at our UK manufacturing facility. Um, if we're talking about manufacturing lead times, we can turn around an uncoated special in around seven working days, um, whereas if we have to coat something, we're looking at 14 working days manufacturing lead time. You mentioned coatings. All these appear to be coated. So what are the benefits of a coated insert, well, broaching system? Coatings now are a fundamental component of any uh, metal cutting operation. Um, it really is very application specific. As I say, with aluminium, some uh, particularly non-abrasive aluminiums or non-ferrous materials, we may opt to leave the coating edge, uh, the cutting edge uncoated. However, when you're moving into sort of stainless steels or more exotic materials, it certainly offers um, some extreme benefits to have that coating on the cutting edge. And I know Horn, you sell broaching units themselves now. What are the benefits of using one of those systems? And have you got any um, like examples of payback and return on investment? Yeah, we've, um, we've been experiencing a lot of success with the introduction of uh, uh, the broaching units now in conjunction with many of our systems. Um, the main benefits of these broaching units are extreme cycle time savings. So if we were talking in respect of a 32 teeth internal involute spline um, producing conventionally on the slideway, you're probably looking at around 10 minutes. 
um, with the introduction of one of the um, broaching units with a, with a horn tool, you're looking at around two to three minutes. So it is uh, an extreme time saving. Yeah, huge savings as a percentage. But you know, what the other advantage is, presumably it's going to make the machine last longer, there's less you know, wear on the Z-axis? As you say, Joe, yeah. I mean, um, depending on how many passes, how many gears you're producing on high volume parts, there is that impact of the tool. Um, into the workpiece and when you're machining with the slideways over and over again you can um, produce a bit of wear um, on the machine so introducing these broaching units will also um, help to um, improve and protect the quality of the machinery. There's a number of examples here of, of, of actual finished components you know typically what sectors would you use this technology in? Um, we've we've deployed um, these tooling systems across many sectors. Probably uh, our most successful would be um, aerospace. Um, we have automotive parts in terms of gears, or just um, particular job shops as well. Keyways, um, hexes for Allen keys. It really is a tool that you can deploy in most market sectors within the engineering industry. So here we have one of the reciprocating head broaching units. Um, which we, as mentioned, we can use to offer extreme cycle time savings. Um, the benefits of this are um, extremely high feed rates, which can be increased, um, offering many benefits. So how easy are these products to use, you know, the program and the machine, the actual application of the tools? Yeah, they're very, very simple, actually, to apply. Um, if we're talking in terms of a component um, such as this, the customer needs to be able to lock the C-axis in place um, and control this. They'll then take multiple passes in the Z-axis um, at variable depths of cut, depending on the material, probably starting at around 30 microns for a steel, stainless steel, up to about 0.1 uh, depth of cut in aluminium. Um, multiple passes are then taken until the form reaches the full depth, at which point the component can be orientated to cut the next tooth. So just to conclude, Alex, why would a manufacturer opt for Horn ahead of everybody else and how can they find out more information? Um, the benefit um, that Horn has in this market area is that we have a dedicated sales, design and manufacturing team working here in Ringwood in the UK. Um, we also have um, dedicated sales engineers and applications engineers on the road that are happy to go out and spend time with customers and help them work through their specific applications. Um, also, we have um, knowledge working within this sector, a lot of gear milling knowledge, and we're applying that now to um, broaching internal and external gear forms.